obviously going to be very pleased to to get those back to backs in Australia where they don't come so so often. Um, to go back to back against the All Blacks, uh, what would that mean? Yeah, I think um, obviously it was very um, satisfying to get those two good wins against Australia. But I think uh, we've already been back in camp for a, a few days and we put that behind us and obviously focusing on the next next uh, week. I don't think we've even looked at the, the, the Cape Town week yet. Um, it's obviously a big week for us this week and I suppose the next big thing for us is training this afternoon. Um, so yeah, I think it's an exciting challenge, um, something I think everyone's looking forward to. Uh, but for us, it's just about focusing on today and this afternoon. Are the guys aware of the Ellis Park factor actually not really having been that kind to you guys? I think you've lost the three of your last four matches against the All Blacks at Ellis Park. Is that something you've discussed? Um, no, I think it's, it's, it's obviously something everyone knows altitude and I mean Ellis Park and whatever. But I think, I mean, we're in a professional era now where, where teams prepare for that kind of stuff, you know, um, home team and away teams. And I mean, we shot it going to, to Australia. Obviously, there was an altitude there, but we prepared well and and, and we, we won convincingly there, you know. So I think for 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 New Zealand and for us, it's a it's it, it's a massive test ma test match, you know. And uh, we'll both need to prepare well um, in order to to get the result that we want, you know. So for us, it's just about preparing well, um, making sure that we get our, our processes and things right this week, um, and go into this game confidently. Jesse, sorry. Um, I, I correct me if I'm wrong, but you didn't play in. The 22 game went after the last break when you guys lost up here. No. Okay. Um, what, what do you have to do to avoid those sort of, uh, you want to call it a boil over or that, that, I mean, in terms of fo focus and uh, preparing, what do you have to do to avoid those sort of upsets? I'm saying not, not look too far ahead. Like I said, the um, biggest thing for us is to do this afternoon session. I think when you start looking uh, a day ahead or a session ahead, I think that's where you, where you, where you stumble, you know. So for us, it's the biggest thing for us will be our next meeting and then our, our training this afternoon. I mean, and those are the things you can control. How you push up your training, your mindset of training, um, your intensity, your efforts, all of those things are things that we measure here and are, are things that we can control. Um, and I think that's all that matters for us here at the Spring Rocks. Yeah. Uh, given given uh, the changes that's been since the final, I mean, we all know about the final, uh, a, lot, a lot more has changed for New Zealand. Does it make it easier for you to prepare or focus on yourself? I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. I think we've also had a lot of changes. You know, we've got. I mean, last week we played a completely new team with a hell of a lot of guys that weren't even in the final. So, I think both teams are in a similar kind of kind of space. And um, we've got a lot of new guys that have, that have come in and have performed really well. You know, and have, that have put up their hands um, day in and day out, and that have performed as well. So, I think it's exactly the same for New Zealand. Mm -hmm. They've they've also um, it's a new for your cycle for them and um, I think yeah it's just about who can prepare the best and um, who can go out there and then I suppose execute so yeah. Yeah, I think um, Brownie's obviously been massive since he's come in. Um, he's brought a great energy and a great, I suppose, change, not change in mindset, but a, a great way of seeing uh, attack. And, and I think he's got the guys in, 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 the, in the room really excited, which is awesome. Um, and I, I also think he's, he's got us playing a, a really exciting brand of rugby that, that the guys are enjoying. So um, it's nice to, to get onto the field and, and be really excited about how you want to play. And um, I think as a player, that's, that's, that's really great. Great thing to have. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's a massive test match. I mean, any like mm -hmm. Claire said, any test match is massive. Um, I, I think um, we all know against New Zealand, it's 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 it's, it's pretty big. So, um, but really exciting, you know. I think as a player, you want to be involved in these kind of test matches. Um, so I think, yeah, obviously everyone's crossing, crossing fingers to, to, to hopefully be involved. And um, yeah, I think it will be, be another great test match. Sorry, Jesse, if I could just follow up on that one. How different is the way you guys playing from last year? Um, yeah, I think there are. I think you can see quite a bit of change. Um, but it's obviously we, 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 we 
keep the core of, of what you already built on for the last couple of years. And then I think Brownie's just come in with, mm. with some different thoughts and different ways of how he sees he sees attacking rugby. And also got a lot of guys using skills that they wouldn't normally use. You know, a lot of guys, if you look at a guy like Eben, he's got unbelievable hands and a good, good offloading ability. And um, I, can, I can name one to 15 and you can, you've got guys with amazing skill sets. And it's, it's nice to see guys like that starting to use those skills and, and uh, kind of express themselves. You guys better than you were last year? I believe so. I think um, you, if, you're, if you're not better now than you were last year, then, then you've got a bit of a problem. So big thing for us is obviously we want to stay ahead of the curve, um, keep working on our game, keep working on our, our individual skill sets to contribute in order for us to get better. But I definitely be believe that we are, we are we're a better team than we, where we were last year. Um, Jesse, um, should, should you get an opportunity yeah, I mean, any opportunity that you get to, to pull a Springbok jersey over your head is, is a massive one and something that I, I would never take lightly. Um, it's, like I said, it's, it's the biggest privilege to, to wear that jersey and um, if I'm privileged enough to get a, another opportunity this weekend, I'll, I'll do everything in my power and and give everything that I have uh, uh, for South Africa. So yeah, that never changes and uh, it would be a, a massive opportunity if I do get the chance. Uh, Jesse, uh, same question for you. Pretty much what you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesse, uh, you yeah. think the Springboks have gotten better since last year's World Cup, but do you think the All Blacks have as well? They've obviously got a better coaching group and they're learning themselves, but do you think they're a better team than what they were last year? Yeah, I think they, Definitely up there. I think um, they've they've got class players all around the field. Um, they've got a class squad. They've got great leaders. Um, I think they've got a really good coaching staff as well that have come in. So um, yeah, I do think they they're on their way to to becoming a better team, if not if not better than where they are last year. Um, I think it's got, yeah, like any international team, it's really competitive and uh, they've got class players. So I think that will be that in itself drives competitive environment. So yeah. Uh, guys, let's take uh, a few more questions for Clary and, um, and Jesse, and then they can go to strapping, and then Dion will stay over here. Just to uh, see, on, on the New Zealand style of play, a guy like David McKenzie, they call him uh, reliably like, in my own team position. How much different that, what has it been to be um, attacked and um, just a general start? Yeah, I think um, David McKenzie is probably one of the most exciting players in world rugby with, with ball in hand. Um, I think obviously being given a chance now to, to, to run the New Zealand team at, at fly half and I think he's been doing a really good job. So um, yeah, it's a, like I said, it's, again, it's an exciting challenge for us. Um, I think obviously to try and nullify that, but um, I think he's been doing re really well for them and um, yeah, it's, 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 it's been good for New Zealand. And then but Phil from the Lincoln. Yeah, they've also got um, really, really good depth in the midfield. I think uh, whoever plays, whether it be um, Jordy Barrett, Anthony Leonard Brown, uh, Rico Aini, um, they've got they've got so many uh, people to pick from there that are that are world class players. You know, so I think regardless of who plays, um, you, you know, you you've, you've got a, a, a big test match on your hands, and it's going to be a big challenge. So I think they they're really lucky with the with the quality of players they've got in their squad.